Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. In today's Ratchet News, Love & Hip Hop star Hazel E got into a huge altercation on social media with Jess Hilarious. And Jess Hilarious is a comedian who made her claim to fame on Instagram. Now I don't know how this whole beef started, but I think it started off privately, but Jess made it public. She posted a picture of Hazel E's book and she wrote, this blank Hazel E thought he was off the hook. Like I won't rip him a new nostril because this $10 dumb titled book has one star and six sales, one for Mona, one for mama, one for your gay best friend, boyfriend or your twin brother or whatever rose burgundy supposed to be to you two you gave away and one i just bought to help your broke self out since your seasonal self is laid off until next year you only work on love and hip-hop my dude so cut that phony shoot dazzle mess out because you know good and well them gladiator sandal heels ain't selling bro you must get your hair from shoe dazzle too because that always looks plastic just like them shoes hashtag checkmate that was definitely a read however hazel e and her boyfriend rose burgundy did not like that at all and they responded with something even harsher now hazel e went on a huge rant and she said this this raggedy broke black bee gone made up fake DMs about me and Rose. You took it too far. You Instagram fame seeking blank. Stop posing news with your son. You are an embarrassment to all mothers. Watch how this unfolds for you. You've harassed me for months on social media. I'm tired of all these monkey looking dark butts coming for my pretty self. Ciao. Don't take your insecurities out on me. You're trying to get on Love & Hip Hop Hollywood that bad? You need another check? You, your blank, blank homeboy, your gay son, going to have to figure out this industry when I get done with you. Y'all keep playing about a man's sexuality. Gonna get you more than you bargained for. And Hazel searched throughout the internet and posted all types of pics and embarrassing stories about Jess. Also, Hazel's boyfriend, Rose Burgundy, went on Instagram and posted a very offensive post. And he said, I'm 25. You really want to know how I feel about gays so bad? Well, here you go. I hope all gays die and go to hell. That's where I come from. Check your lies before you post. I'm from Peru. I'm 25, not 19. And it's Denzel with the two pound B. Google me, just hilarious. And Hazel E said, burn in hell, just like God said in the Bible. Now, first of all, one thing I absolutely cannot stand is when somebody uses the Bible to justify their hatred. Hazel E and her boyfriend are disgusting and they deserve to be dragged. And both of them are gonna lose their jobs on Love & Hip Hop Hollywood. Please believe that. And Hazel E continued to rant against dark-skinned women. She said, I see you all black bees that hate me. Stop bleaching your skin and fix the inside first and maybe all you blank wouldn't be so mad. Love the skin you're in, ladies. It takes a village to take me out. But what y'all fail to realize is I'm still on top and none of you bees will ever compare to me or be on my level. I got money in the streets. Anybody looking for a check, hit me up. Girls are mad because they couldn't pass the brown paper bag test. Yep, I said it back on my business with my United Nations. Sorry, mom, you kept me away from these type of girls all my life. You said they would hate me because I'm light skinned. You were right. Ciao. While Hazel was dissing dark skinned women, Rose Burgundy's alleged ex actually came forth and claimed that he in fact was gay and he released all the text messages and yes, they had a relationship. Anybody that really know Denzel, like late 2012, early 2013, he was trying to be with Brick Squad. Brick Squad was hella deep in the DMV. So, you know, we met or whatever. This is before the fame and all of this. And yeah, we messed around, but it was nothing more than that. And as we got older, he wanted it to be more. So, when Denzel originally met the fucking Lake Sea Monster of LA, 
She was supposed to just be his manager to help him progress in his career. Hazel was supposed to, I guess, progress his career. I don't even know how he thought she was going to do that when her own shit don't even get spent on the radio. The only thing she's known for is to be on Love and Hip Hop begging for a nigga to love her. And knowing these niggas don't love her. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, they in a public relationship. In 2016, they started posting shit like they was in a relationship. But knew each other for a minute already. So this bitch went from your manager to your cover up. Or whatever you want to say, you bisexual. I don't know what what, what y'all calling their name days. But we gonna call this glitter bus a glitter bus, okay? Denzel is only 19 years old. He was born in 1998. So, Hazel, stop it, bitch. You're a pedophile. Sit your ass down. I, don't, I shouldn't even be addressing your ass. You on the AARP fucking membership. Just Hilarious also went in on Hazel and dragged her to shreds. Not my son gay. Not my five-year-old son is gay, like. <laughs> bitch, if you think that hurt me, you got a whole nother thing coming, bitch. What? Not my son. My son got more money than you, bitch. Like, I... What the fuck? Let's talk about your son, Rosa. You're gay. And it's okay if you're gay. Just don't be running around here acting like you're not gay. What, what's why you can't come out? You'd have got a better storyline on Love and Hip Hop if you just would have said you was gay. They gonna say, you tried so hard to be on Love and Hip Hop. Not on Love and Hip Hop. Not, I'd rather stay on Wildin' Out for another 10 seasons. Bitch, you got me fucked up. Let me tell you why I wouldn't be on Love and Hip Hop. Cause I would never get to fight you. I would never get to hit you in your fucking mouth. Like, that's why I wouldn't, I wouldn't even wanna be on Love and Hip Hop. You know what I'm saying? I would never get to really hit you in your fucking mouth. Like, when Masika almost dragged your ass over the whole rail, over that balcony, your stupid ass talking about, oh, you too slow, you too slow. No, 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 security was too slow. And you had to be quicker than that. The fuck, she almost had your dumb ass. I, I ain't trying to do that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to race over there, try to jump over tables, try to be quick enough. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying, like, Brooke really could have got to you. If security, like, if no security was in the way, you know what I'm saying? And you know your boyfriend gay. Girl, fuck out here. You know that boy gay. All that shit is for publicity. You went from, how the fuck you go from Cat Williams to Rose Burgundy? Why the fuck was you even with Cat? Why the fuck was Cat Williams even with you? The fuck? That's some comedian shit right there. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I know why. All for the jokes. He was with your ass. All for them jokes. Come on. And then you keep coming out here with this old ass shit, girl. She took 12 hours to go search that shit. You know why? Because she don't have nothing. She don't know me. She don't know nothing else about me. You don't know me, baby. Like, you don't know me. That's the thing. You can come at Masika and Monice and all them. You don't even know them. The shit you be saying, the only thing you don't, you don't know, Brooke. You don't know none of them. You don't know none of them. That's a part of that show shit. It's the only thing you keep doing is talking about niggas is broke. What the fuck you think you is? Talking about fuck her and her kid. You think I give a fuck about you saying anything about my son? What you really think I care about what you say about my son? Look, let me tell you something right now, baby. I don't need makeup. I don't need surgery in my face. I keep my bell pepper nose. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I don't care about that. You basically this dark, dark skin bitches, you know what I'm saying? Look, my melanin popping, baby. I don't give a no makeup, and I don't feel good. Ain't none of that. None of that. But you know why I don't feel good? Because I travel so much. I sell out shows. I make money. I make money. You do the most to get them low-ass love and hip-hop checks. Reality TV ain't paying you all that money, baby. So come on with all these rented ass Uber Plus, Uber Black. You know, all these rides you showing up in. Coming with all these cheap-ass shoe-dazzle bags. When Brooke says she can buy a hundred of them, your stupid ass did the math wrong. You and Rose Burgundy slow as shit. Tell me she run LA, bitch. You need to run the math class, you dumb ass. Oh, she read her for filth. Anyway, Hazel Z List actually went on Instagram and she was trying to backtrack on her comments about dark skinned people. And she said, before y'all say I'm not black, here's the half of my family that is. Ain't got nothing against melanin. I love my tan skin, but forget all the girls who don't. 
That's my mama, my brothers, sisters, cousins, and my stepdad. So don't say I don't like brown or dark skin, but F them gorillas. Child, this whole thing is a hot mess. Anyway, tell me what you all think down below. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and share if you care. See you next time, and thanks for watching. Bye!